I'm going to get a good story here, and I got a bunch more, I'll tell you in just a minute, because this guy is full of information. Full of, uh, yeah, something. Um, anyway, the, um, yeah, we have a direct connection in Payne's Prairie, just south of Gainesville, Florida, with the legend of Sleepy Hollow. And uh, if somebody knows more about this than I do, hopefully this will this will flush them out. Yeah, well, but anyway, you can leave a comment below. During the, during the war, the uh, Second Seminole War in 1835 to 1842, too. Uh, there were forts built all over Florida. Most of the towns in Florida that have fort in front of them, Fort Lauderdale, Fort Pierce, Fort Myers, those were actually little loggy forts during the Second Seminole War. I did not but, know uh, And they built those forts for the specific purpose of pushing the Seminoles further south and eventually capturing them and sending them out to Oklahoma. Uh, it was part of the Trail of Tears, really. People don't usually connect it with Florida, but it was. But anyway, all right, one of the little forts that was built, we had a bunch of them in this area, was just south of us. Um, and it was named after, it was just a blockhouse. It didn't last long, but it was there. And it was named after the local commander at the time, who had to be from New York, had an odd name, Lieutenant Colonel Ichabod Crane. And, uh, well, it seems, and by the way, there's a historic marker down there that talks about the old old sort of ghost town of New Rochelle and also talks about that, too. One of those classic metal historic markers. Man, I'd like but, to go there sometime. Well, it's easy. Yeah. Just go south and take a left in Micanopy. It's the only place you can go left, just after Pearl Barbecue and yeah. Marathon Gas Station. Is that on 441? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. On All the right, left. Yeah. Well, i got to head back that way because I'm going back to Akala. Oh, so, well, well, you'll end up sort of on the wrong end, but you'll end up on Hawthorne Road on the other side, but you can do it. Right. And anyway, um, I guess he could go the other way out of the entrance here and end up there, too. But anyhow, um, uh, the fort the, the fort was named Fort Crane and this, you know, and all that. Well, the connection was, was this. Um, Lieutenant, it seems that Lieutenant Colonel Crane, who was a longtime Marine veteran, I mean, uh, he was in for his whole life, basically, had served in the War of 1812 uh, up in Sackett's Harbor, New York, with a guy whose name you might recognize as well, a guy named Washington Irving, who is the author of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow and Rip Van Winkle and a whole bunch of early American literature. And... Um, Pretty well known, and uh, but and the literary scholars they don't know how well the two knew each other. They don't know how many times they met. There's a, I've I heard I read one thing that said that there's documentation of the meeting, but I haven't seen it. But anyway, the literary scholars pretty much say, yep, that's where he got the name for his hapless schoolteacher character in the Legend of Sleepy Hollow. And there is a farm down there as well that you pass called Sleepy Hollow Horse Farm. Although she might be able to tell you whether she thinks the people who own it know anything about this. I don't know. Because, you know, uh, well, Mar I think it was one of our volunteers told me that they didn't think that um, the new owners probably knew anything about these connections, you uh -huh. know, because it's changed hands a few times, I guess. Yeah. But uh, you'll see Sleepy Hollow Horse Farm on the right if you go from Micanopy well, down that and road. on that same road, but Is the, closer to the, the grave. Uh, side there's there's something called the Prairie Creek Conservation yes. Cemetery, which has uh, burials. Oh, that I saw are the cemetery natural. on my way in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so you came up that direction? Yeah, I came then. came from that direction because I went. I was at REI yeah. picking up some supplies. Yeah, I'm going yeah. on. I went to a 10, burial there trip. last last week. Oh, yeah. And they, they wrap people my in traps. My ex-wife is buried there. And they put them in the ground right there. Yep. And uh, you know, and it's a beautiful place. But there's also another graveyard with a historic marker too, because our fourth governor is buried along that road. You probably yeah. saw it driving up Madison Stark Perry, who they're pretty sure Perry, Florida, up toward the Panhandle is named after named him. after him. Stark doesn't know what it's named it's after. At least they don't seem to. There's much discussion, and of course Madison was his first name probably after the president. All right. But, um, anyway, well, that's, that's thank you so much. Uh, also, Google Osceola's head. If you want to really get involved in a long, very true story that is beyond belief, but it's not a fictional story at all. Because nobody knows what happened to Osceola's head. And I'll leave it with that. Well, how about the uh, the horse kicking the gator? That was a good one. Oh, well, you can Google that. Yeah, Google the Just horse, Google horse, horse, horse gator. stomps gator. Horse stomps That's gator. all you need to do, and you'll see it on YouTube. All right. And... Uh, there's, there's a lot to this place. <laughs> <laughs> thank you all so much. Sure, thank I you. I really appreciate it in my thank audience, you. but uh, YouTube will too. I, I only have like 
70 followers, so it's not like no, it's going to go viral or anything. This is one of, that's